Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another exciting Casual Tuesday. I am your host, Lock the Saint. Good to have you back on the channel once again, and we have a good one for you today. This is Wholesome's Fang Alpha 9, which is a blue-green K9 deck. When I say K9s, I mean these guys, the Volkov Heavy, Volkov Veteran, the Point Man, the Pack Trooper, and of course the actual K9s, the uh, Sons of the Pack. So this is a tribal themed deck. Um, the canines are really not a great tribal within Mythgard. Uh, the problem is cards like Sons of the Pack here, uh, Pack Trooper, and Volkov Point Man, they're all at their best when you play them next to one another. And especially in an aggressive deck, that's really not how you want to be playing it. You generally want your aggro spread out over the board. But to compensate for that, we have some uh, tricks in here to help us out. We have a few copies of Berserker Sickness to get in for extra damage. We have Sea Haven to get around their minions. We also have the All Father's Horn so we can get an extra move or we can just swing in for more damage. Uh, All Father's Horn, if you're familiar with the Valkyrie deck, very much capable of doing a ton of damage in one turn. And we also have Marching Orders that you know manipulate stuff around the board as needed. So... This is a deck that is basically a combo deck within an aggro shell, which is highly unusual. Generally, you don't see combo decks unless their control or even some mid-range has combo. The problem with aggro is there's not a whole lot of card draw, so it's very much dependent on uh, just drawing into your combo. So this deck I would describe as some of the most spectacular jank I've seen on Mythgard for just the fact that it is a combo within an aggressive deck. And when I say jank, I don't mean it's bad necessarily. I just mean unreliable. This is a deck that either gets the pieces it needs and runs over the opponent very quickly, or it just kind of fizzles out and doesn't do a whole lot. So um, it is Casual Tuesday. So this is, of course, a very budget-friendly deck. The only mythic rare we have in here is the Junkyard Valhalla, which really is a card that should be in your collection anyway. It's an excellent, excellent mythic. And then we only have six rares in here. There are two of the Sea Haven, two of the All Father's Horn, two of the Marching Orders. And that's basically the deck in a nutshell. It only costs about seven or 8,000 Essence to build. So we're able to put together a deck that's able to combo together, get in for a lot of damage on the cheap. And also important to note that this does run Rainbow's End as its path, so there are 14 enchantments in here altogether. Only 19 minions, which can be a bit of an issue. I mean, 19 minions is pretty low, especially for an aggro deck, but let's just see how this does. Let's hop into the casual queue here. See if we can find an opponent. And just a reminder to you guys, I'm going to be shaking things up on Thursday. We're still going to do um, a ladder deck on Thursday, but instead of ladder time, it'll be it'll be ladder Thursday. And I will no longer be doing the instant replays. I'm going to try to do some live gameplay, but I haven't recorded that yet. So who knows? I may end up doing replays depending what I what deck I decide to do. But I'm hoping to shake things up, hoping to improve that series. And we've got an opponent. Let's see what we've got. Mr. Eon is our opponent. Looks like some kind of aggro deck as well. And this is not a great opening hand. But I'll just burn Ruslan's Blight. Play Ruslan's Blight. Say go. Hopefully we get one of our Sons of the Pack or something we can play on turn two. All right, Seven Ring Ritual, so maybe Mono Red, maybe Red Orange Midrange. Ah, there we go. Our Sons of the Pack, so we'll burn the Valhalla. Play out the Sons. And there you go. Next turn will be burn something green, play out the Veteran. So, yep, looks like it's red-orange, which could be very problematic. Seal of Exile just does a number on this deck. All right, we can easily burn one of these veterans. 
Play out another veteran. Get in for four. So it looks like our opponent's trying to play aggressive as well. They're not challenging any of our minions. But we should be able to get in for a whole bunch next turn. Hopefully we'll be able to get in for eight. No, oh, Sideshow Chimera and Red Orange Midrange. Interesting. Usually don't see that. So I actually want to play out the Ruslan's Blight. And then we'll burn the Cairnhenge, play out the Veteran, get in for four, that'll pump up its power, get in for four on the opponent, say go. So we're going to take a bunch of damage, but we have the Berserker Sickness, so potentially we could get in for 12, 16, That'll probably get blocked, so not quite lethal. But we also have our power. So that'd be 14, 18, eh, just shy. Let's see what we draw. If we draw another Berserker Sickness, I think we definitely win. Oh, they're going to attack into it. All right, do they have a Trapezus to finish it off? They don't, that's lethal. They burn the trapezes. What is our opponent playing out? Fire song project. Okay, they're just gonna ignition it instead. Okay, point man. That's a huge play. So let's play out the point man. So let's get in for four. Get in for five. And we'll just say go. Demolition Speedway could be big. Belly Wyvern, that's probably going to attack into the, uh, oh, yep, it's probably the right move. So we're down to seven. Can we outrace our opponent? That's a Strigoi Pup. Sea Haven. I think what we do is we just burn the Sea Haven and we'll play out. The heavy. Boy, I hope I'm not missing lethal here somewhere. So we'll get in for three. And if the opponent can't quite get through, I mean, we're going to take five for sure. If they use their power. But if they don't have a big enough blocker in front of our heavy, we can get in for lethal that way. by using the Berserker Sickness, or we can use Demolition Speedway possibly on one of our minions. We're gonna take two, we're down to five, we're down to three. 
They have something? They didn't use their power. Parry at the gate, so they're just drawing cards. Oh boy, I think we may have this. They burn a Magmatar. Play Astrogoy Pop. We just won. Well, they can still play something in front of the in front of the heavy. Yep, that's a pup. But that's a marching order. I don't think that's going to make a difference. So they're going to gain two. So they're essentially at 13, but we can get in for 14. No, we can get it for six. Third, I think we have exact these. Plus, we can use our power, so yeah, I think we have more than enough. So let's play Berserker Sickness. Let's up our power. Deal six. Deal eight. And <laughs> Berserker Sickness saves the deal. So we beat Red Orange Midrange in a foot race. We had just enough to get through. And that's kind of what that deck needs. It needs to get all its pieces in place. And thankfully, we did not run into a Seal of Exile or anything too devastating. If they had played, like, Severing Ritual, we would have been done for. But maybe it's a little bit lucky on our part. But, wow, we're able to just slip by Red Orange Midrange. That was actually not one I was expecting to win. Let's see what we can do in another game here. So you kind of see what I mean. It needs to have its pieces in place in order to be able to win. If we didn't have that Berserker Sickness, we would have just been dead in the water. Maybe I didn't need the, to use the power on it. I don't know. My math is not good. But i not sure if we needed it. But I know if I did play the power, we definitely did win. So... I think we would have had just enough anyway. Milk is a deck. All right. I feel like that's a reference to something I'm not getting. So I've actually played him a couple or her a couple times today. All right. Let's just burn a pack trooper, play a blight. This hand is not really good. Very slow. All right, there's a wall, and okay, okay, okay. Um, we'll burn a Demolition Speedway so we get the blue mana. Play out Sons of the Pack. Pass the turn. So this is kind of starting to come together. We can play Volkov Veteran next to it to pump it up. To get a block or anything. All right, you can recruit. That's fine. Got the Berserker Sickness. Um, what do I want to burn? I think I want to keep the Ruslan's but I think I'll just burn. Uh, yeah, Karen Hedge I think can go. Let's play out the Veteran. Take out that. Say go. The next turn, probably play out another veteran. I don't know where I want to put it, though. We'll see what our opponent does. All right, Mesa Libre. That's a marching order. This can actually take out... the meso and live so i think we just burn <sighs> we're not gonna be able to play this veteran so we're kind of beyond that so let's just burn the veteran play out ruslan's blight let's 
Let's take that out. Make it a 6-2. The next turn, I can drop the Demolition Speedway on it if need be. We could also brush stuff aside with Marching Orders. So once again, this hand is kind of coming together. I guess I could have kept that heavy in there, huh? But I need the green mana, and I want to be able to play the heavy next turn anyway. So right now, if they don't block anything, we get in for 16. Not enough to finish them off. Seal of Exile. Ouch! All right, so maybe it's okay we didn't play that other one. It would have been gone anyways. But now we have Sons of the Pack. Uh, I think Demolition Speedway can go. Sickness and Marching Orders are just good finishers. So let's play the Heavy next to our Sons. Pump that up. Get in for four once again. Fire point down to 22. Say go. Next turn, we could... Oh, there's another Seal of Exile. Oh, geez. Okay, so at least they're out of seals. But, boy, that's... Half of our uh, canines just gone. So at least we're getting to see some of the flaws with this deck as well as the good. Let's play out another Sons of the Pack. Got a Pack Trooper. And we'll power up. Get in for six. And we'll say go. So we're getting ahead of our opponent in mana now because they've played both of those uh, back to back. So they have they have a parry at the gates, okay. But we have a marching order. So if we marching order, move stuff aside, we can get in for and then use our berserker sickness. And our power. So we can get in for 6, 12, 16. So yeah, we got lethal. So the first thing we're going to do is marching order. We're going to sweep aside the parry at the gates. We're going to power up our canine. Berserker sickness. 12. Get in for 4. Get in for 2. And once again, we combo off on the opponent. So we beat the control deck after we had two of our best minions. Seal of Exiled out of here, so... Yeah. I Look, I said this deck is jank, but right now the cards are coming out in our favor. Like, this deck is just comboing off. Let's see if we can go three for three here. And if I sound excited, it's because this deck is a lot of fun. I love these decks like Valkyries where you kind of have to hunt and look for lethal. And, okay, this is an interesting opening hand. Let's just burn a Pack Trooper. Play a Pack Trooper. And say go. We'll see what we draw. Probably next turn, burn something green. Play out the Blight and another Pack Trooper to pump it up. Looks like we're up against a control deck. Or, right, nope, we'll just burn the Allfather's Horn. Or do we? Yeah, I think we just go Allfather's Horn. Play out Sons of the Pack. Boost this up to two. Get in. And then we'll see what the opponent does. Burn another yellow. Interesting, they're playing a control deck and they're using the smite as their power. All right, that's Yahui. So I think what we can do is we'll play Ruslan's Blight. We'll hit that. And then, I think I actually just burn the marching order. Because I don't want to burn the veteran. 
I want to play out my pack trooper to get in for extra damage. I'm just going to go as fast as possible against this yellow deck. So pass the turn. You draw the point man, that would be great. Because then I could run over the Yahui, get in for a whole bunch of damage. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Anything can happen between now and then. At least there's no Seal of Exile on this one. Oh, I apologize if I didn't have the sound on. Okay. That's going to be a pain to deal with. But I think I just put the blight on here. So let's see. Yep, I can take that out. Again for four. Then one of the heavies. Play out the veteran. I'll pump up my pack trooper. So potentially have a big swing here. For a lot of damage. Karen Henge, that can help us pump up as well. And our opponent's gonna run away. <laughs> we swarmed them with the canines. So yeah, we, we're we're out able to aggro the control deck. And our opponent just gives up. Uh, it's bugging me I didn't have the sound on. I know it sounds a bit weird when it's just dead silence in the background, but let's see if I can squeeze one more in here. This deck's pretty aggressive, so. Plus, I'm having fun. Raktazar is our opponent. They're going second, so we're on the play. And, eh, okay. I think I just burned the Berserker Sickness. Play out Cairnhenge. Say go. Next turn, burn something green, play out Sons of the Pack. Be nice to have that coin. Played Raktazar before. I think they're running Valkyries, if I remember correctly. Most likely Valkyries, yes. Alright, we can burn one of these Speedways. Yeah, we'll burn the Speedway instead of something green. Out sons in the pack. And if they want to trade, actually it won't even be a trade. We'll just destroy their Bane. So at this point our opponent's gotta be like, oh crap. Oh, it's blue red. So blue red aggro. Oh nuts. Okay. So they had a trick up their sleeve. So let's burn something green. Heavy. Play out the veteran. So you take that one out, pass the turn. The next turn, I think it's Sons of the Pack, Rizlan's Blight. Alright, they have a seven ring ritual, so this is maybe a blue red mid range. Alright, Panic Raider. Marching orders. Okay. That'll probably come in handy. I think for now I just Ruslan's Blight. Sons of the Pack. We'll take out that thing. Bump it up. And... I just burn the marching order actually. I want to be able to play the heavy next turn. Say go. So we're kind of outclassing the opponent, but they could have a thunderclap, which will take out my veteran, which would be unfortunate. No, they burn a red, so it's not going to be thunderclap. Mr. Boy Reaver, I'll be darned. Ah, oh, let's see.
so that Reaver is going to attack into us. But... Hmm. That's only getting get plus one, plus zero, so it won't be able to attack through. But I think we burn this. Then we'll play out the point man here. And because this has Alpha Strike, I won't get through for damage. But it also has Frenzy. So I think it's safer just to play the Heavy for now. Yeah, because see, this will die, that will live. So let's just get in for four. Say go. And then even if this takes out the veteran, I can play the point man in between. Let's see what else the opponent has, though. Right, they're going to burn a staircase. They're going to... Oh, boy. Ouch. Well, that will... The heavy will live, at least. Okay, okay. So, play out the point man. Pump everything up. Yeah, yep, that'll take four, but it'll be alive. So I think I just want to power up. I send the pack in for six. Make a trade there. Say go. Now Magnus could be a problem. But we have another heavy we can play next to that. To the Sons of the Forest. Or Sons of the Pack, rather. There's the Daughters of the Forest. But these are Sons of the Pack. Lest we get them confused. Frecky Sidecar. Uh-oh. What shenanigans are coming our way? Or are they just going to use it to trade off with the... Ooh, ouch. Okay. So, hmm, that's going to be a tough nut to crack, not going to lie. Marching orders could help. We get in for nine, but our opponent's gaining seven every turn. Hmm. Well, they'll be gaining less than that, right? Because... That will die. I think we just marching order. Slide everything over. Oh, but the oh the enchantments move with it too. Yeah, so okay, that is objectively not good. But we'll also burn the Ruslan's blight. And we'll play out the heavy... Do I want the extra point of damage? I think I do. I think I'm just trying to race the opponent at this point, even though they're gaining 7 life each turn. Put them down to 8. And we'll say go. So the opponent's going to gain 7, go up to 15, but we will have 10, 15 online. We can use our power. That has life tap as well. So our opponent is gaining a lot of life here. But something if we have something like Allfather's Horn, that could seal the deal. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, okay, we're alive. But they're going to get in for 11 and gain 8. So Allfather's Horn just wins us the game. That's another point, man. We play that. Taking point. So we get in for 6, 12, 16, 17. Oh, we're so close. They're going to get in for exactly 11. Hmm. 
So I get in for six, six. Okay, that destroyed their enchantments, so they don't have quite enough. So I think I'm going to power up Point Man here. Get him for five, put him down to two. Say go. Speedway, we could give that. All right, so they're going to hit us for nine. Or actually ten. As long as they don't have Rush or like a Lightning Bolt, we'll be okay. But what do they have? Broggy, ah! Nope. Yes, that's going to do it. All right. Uh, one turn away. Thought we could outrace him, but didn't quite get there. Still did an impressive amount of damage. It wasn't for all that life tap. We would have won that last one, so... Didn't... We needed... And that's an example of... We kind of need a combo piece. If we had Berserker Sickness, we would have won. If we had All Father's Horn, we could have won. But... I'm sure with the aggro, there was probably a point or two I missed somewhere. I probably didn't play a power somewhere. Missed out on point or two, but that last one's so close yet so far, but blue-red mid-range was able to beat us out. So, and you saw kind of some of the flaws in there. We really needed, um, we needed some of our, uh, combo pieces in there to really be able to finish off the opponent. And the fact that, you know, we were, you know, this deck Basically just races. If I started spreading minions out across the board, I mean, there would have been no way to deal with that uh, Frecky Huntress. So it made sense to just try and outrace them. And, you know, this deck is kind of one trick pony. Either it outruns your opponent, takes them down quickly, or it just kind of fizzles out. In this case, you know, we kind of fizzled out towards the end there. We didn't quite get the answers we needed, but oh, so close. Oh, well. So anyway, that was an exciting episode. You saw some of the potential of this deck. Like I said, it's very janky, but it's spectacular jank. This deck does either very well and just destroys our opponent's day, or it just kind of doesn't quite get the job done. But anyway, that was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I will be back again on Thursday. It'll be Ladder Thursday. Don't know what I'm doing just yet. I appreciate it if you guys would hit the like and subscribe button below. And in the description below, I will, of course, link to this deck. This is Wholesome's build. A fun little deck that it came up with. Very budget-friendly. Um, just another very creative deck from the mind of Wholesome. And also, I have a Twitter. I will put a link in there as well. Uh, you can talk to me on there. So that's going to be it for me today. And I will see you guys next time.